So Apple announced yesterday the brand new MacBook Pros, 14-inch, 16-inch, no more touch bar, all kinds of goodness. But it was not exactly what I expected. Let's discuss. Hey there, friends on YouTube. My name is Jason. This is Painfully Honest Tech. Tech. So honest if there's... If there, if there, it hurts. Uh, I bit my tongue. Uh. If this is your first time here, uh, thank you so much for stopping by. If you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back again. First time people, subscribe down there, button below, so you can come back. More Apple News, more Samsung, more phone, more Android, more iPhone, more all that stuff. Audio. There's some audio stuff to discuss today. So if that's anything that you're interested in, hit that subscribe button. Now, let's get to the discussion. So what did we see yesterday? I wanted to make a video yesterday, but the plan was to make a video yesterday. However, um, I went to order my MacBook and my AirPods and something was going on with my Apple card. I come to discover that someone had like committed uh, like fraud and ordered something with my Apple card. I don't know how they did it. Took a while to get that figured out. Took a while to get the order done, but order has been done. Here is when my stuff is showing up. I am very excited about this whole thing. Uh, <laughs> AirPods, you know, I mean, I'm excited about the AirPods. I'm always excited about a new set of headphones and I want to see what these new AirPods that are somewhere between the, uh, the AirPods Pro and the regular AirPods. I want to see like what their whole deal is but the but the big the big news was all about the brand new macbook pro we've got two models of macbook pro one is uh the 14 inch it's actually 14.2 inches screen uh it's and then we got a 16 inch model that's 16.2 inches of screen and it's very uh well we've all been wondering what is Apple going to do when they come out with these new MacBook Pros? Everybody's like, well, there's going to be an M1X chip and that's going to be more powerful. And then they'll have the M2 chip and that's going to be, you know, we don't know where that's going to go or if that's... <laughs> Apple seems to be doing this now. They let people run with these names that they come out with, M1X and M2 and blah, blah, blah. We all agree that these are going to be the names of the chips. <laughs> and then... <laughs> Apple comes out with not M1X, not M2, not any of that stuff. M1 Pro and M1 Max. Of course, of course, because Pro and Max are the two things that they use to delineate, like, the faster, the bigger, the more important, uh, you know, the fancier Pro stuff. Well, I didn't know what to expect. I don't know if you knew what to expect, but it wasn't anything that I was expecting. However, I am very very pleased some things happened that people said were going to happen some things i mean we, we just didn't have any way of knowing the m1 pro chip is super fast compared to the m1 chip that came out last year and the m1 max chip super fast compared to the m m1 pro chip so we we got exactly this is weird we got exactly what we wanted. Maybe, is this the first time that Apple has ever given us exactly what we wanted? Uh, it might, it very well might be. I, I don't know. We'll discuss down in the comments, but we got, not only did we get the 16 inch screen, the 14 inch screen, we got micro, no, not micro, mini LED. We've got 1600 nits of peak brightness. We've got liquid retina xdr display we've got no touch bar no touch bar on here we've got a full-size keyboard with like a with like an f a, you know like a function row that's nice <laughs> and for the first time that i know of at all at all at all um we got ports back that's right people we got ports back if you'll notice here there is this little slim looking port that it's a it's an sd card reader and then over here we've got this uh this little oblong thing like a pill that's a thunderbolt 3 4 thunderbolt 4 and then look at this gigantic hole in the side of the mac it is an hdmi port crazy not only did we get the hdmi the sd card we also got magsafe back for another run and i know that a lot of people really love the magsafe stuff so i'm very excited about 
the MagSafe. And then we've got two more Thunderbolt 3 ports. And you might be saying to yourself, wait a minute, Jason, we only got three Thunderbolt ports now. We had four the last time. But the last time, we didn't have a charging port. So, I mean, you know, the six and one half dozen of the other. We were, we got one we got a charging port back so we don't have to use one of the thunderbolt 3 ports to do it and then over here we've got i think this might be the only device that we have uh one of these on it anymore this is the headphone jack and not only is it is it a headphone jack it is according to apple a high impedance headphone jack that will allow you to drive more uh, sensitive headphones or less sensitive headphones, I guess. So if you've got a pair of uh, Sennheisers or something like that that need a little bit more juice, supposedly this headphone jack is going to do it for you. So from a ports standpoint, uh, everything is looking really good. We've got, and the screen looks incredible. You'll notice that the bezels, they are ever so slim on these three sides. So slim that they can't even put the MacBook Pro uh, little logo stamp down there. But then up here, we've got some kind of strange thick bezel. Some kind of thick bezel. So then uh, Apple lets us scroll around here and, and oh, oh. What is this right here? Well, uh, uh, it, it, a notch. A notch. A notch on the MacBook Pro. And everybody's been going crazy about this. The thing about the notch on the MacBook Pro is that where this notch sits, it, it, there's now a 1080p webcam. It's got a wider angle. It's, it's going to be really nice. I thought when I saw the notch, ooh, Face ID. But no, no Face ID, unfortunately. But... So the way that they're going to work it is, you know, when, you ha when you're when you using the Mac, you always have that menu, menu bar up at the top. And so this is going to sit, the menu bar is going to sit in there and the notch is just going to interrupt the menu bar, which isn't really taking away any of your useful screen real estate anyway. So the notch is not necessarily a big deal. However, I do have to say that... <laughs> Apple has uh, a, a lot of uh, gumption, a lot of audacity, a lot of wh whatever word you want to use. Uh, they got they got a big pair of uh, brass ones. I whatever you want to say, Apple has them because they know how much everyone hates the notch or or complains about the notch. At least I mean, at this point, why hate? Why hate the notch? It's been a long time, but they had to have known that when they put a notch on this laptop everybody would lose their 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 faculties for reason <laughs> and and uh yeah i i i have to hand it to them it is um yeah well done apple you are trolling us clearly that's okay i guess <laughs> Overall, what we're getting with these two MacBook Pros is pretty incredible. I mean, they say 13 times graphics, 13 times more graphics performance up to up to three times faster CPU performance up to 21 hours of battery life. That's on the 16. I believe it's 14 or 15 more on the uh, the 14 inch and up to 11% faster machine learning. Now what that really means in the context of how the devices are going to perform, I'm not really sure, but I do know this. I do know that when the M1 chips came out, Apple made a ton of claims. They were saying it's going to be this and it's going to be that and it's going to it's going to slice and dice and julienne and all those kinds of things and everybody was um, somewhat incredulous i believe i definitely was like well it sounds good to me but is it real it turned out to be real the m1 max that came out last year were faster than anything that existed in their price point deserved to be and they ended up being fantastic machines and these machines are promising performance like over and above like by multiple times what we got before and here they're showing off the ports one thing i found really humorous was that apple you know as they were announcing these devices they were like and we're we're giving you all of these ports you know these ports that professionals need and want you know sd card and hdmi and and you know we're giving you these ports so that you can you know 
you can have the professional workflow that you needed, but everybody knows that don't pretend that you didn't take them away in the first place, Apple, because you did. You took them away, and that was stupid. So Apple has offered us uh, some kind of a mea culpa here and said, okay, fine, we'll give you the ports back. Um, and on one hand, yeah, kind of hypocritical. On the other hand, thank you very much. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. I bought the middle spec here. This is the one with the uh, M1 Pro 10 and 16 core with a 16 core neural engine. Uh, I could have spec'd it up to the max for another 400 bucks or five, 200 bucks. I guess maybe I should have done that. So for me at the end of the day, 2699 plus tax, 200. I, I, I'm trading something in so I get about half this per month. And it's, I was lucky enough to get my order in early so that I don't have to worry about November as when I'm going to get the machine. But I'm scheduled to get my machine on the 26th, which is next Tuesday, which is also one day after my 50th birthday. Maybe I'll get lucky and it'll show up a day early and I'll get like a really cool 50th birthday present. I also have the AirPods coming as well, the AirPods 3, so I'll be doing videos on those, telling you what I think about those. But these new MacBooks, while we didn't, I, I don't know what I, I, I don't know what I thought we would get, but I, I didn't expect something as uh, just monumental, something as uh, wide ranging, something as uh, paradigm shifting as what we get. It'll all come out in the wash when the, when the computers start to show up next week. So I'll be sure to do like uh, several videos talking about how I use it, how it's working for me. I mean, I expect this thing to, to do my laundry. Uh, it's so powerful. That's what I'm looking for. What are you looking for? Let me know down in the comments. Were you impressed with this? Uh, some people had, had said maybe it's a little bit too expensive. It's more expensive than I thought it was going to be, but then again, I think we're getting a lot more stuff than I expected we would get. So, kind of balance, maybe balances out. It's still cheaper than uh, than the 16-inch MacBook Pros were before the 13-inch MacBook Pros were, uh, at least the ones that had more powerful specs. There is still the 13-inch that you can get for $12.99 and $14.99, respectively. That's still available, but it has the M1 chip, not the Pro or the Max. Once again, my name is Jason. This has been Painfully Honest Tech. Tech. So honest, it hurts. Until the next time, I'm out.